Uh, hello everyone, we are Astrology Group and there are three members in our group, me and you, Hai Yen and Ngoc. And uh, today we are talking about the data breach case study of Duckin Donuts. Through the table of contents, there are four main parts in our presentation. First is data security and data uh, security in part one and the data breach in part two. Then we analyze the case study situation of Duckin Donuts. And the last one, we go to evaluate this case study. Uh, now we go to the part one, data security. Data security is uh, involves introducing uh, specific controls, standard policies, uh, and produce to protect data from wide range of problems, including unauthorized access, loss by accident, and destruction. And there are two roles of data security. First, for individual, a subset of information security. Data security is about keeping the data safe. Sometimes your data uh, uh, was uh, deleted or hacked by hacker or computer virus, so uh, the data security is very important to protect personal data. And it's also essential for business. Important information that is com commonly restored by business, um, the um, employee records, um, transaction, uh, schemes, loyalty, or data collection needs to protect. Uh, therefore, it prevents that data from being issued by third parties for fraud. Um, for fraud. Uh, to understand um, uh, if uh, we have a data a weak data security, it causes the data breach. The data breach is the work of intentionally releasing or unnecessarily sharing all information to an untrustworthy environment. And terminological, uh, it includes unintentional disclosure, data leakage, information leakage, and even data overflow. And, um, and personal information uh, where can be linked to. Then we come up to the personal data breach. Uh, a personal data breach means a breach of a security that the result of accidental and deliberate causes. Uh, and um, if a business sell or buy or disclosure and leak, uh, their customer information may be criminal prosecution. And if causing damage, they have to pay the compensation uh, according to the provision of law. And to understand more about the data security and data uh, breach, we come up to the uh, part three, the uh, Duckin Donut data breach with Hai Yin. Um, so we will move to this part. Uh, first of all, I want to discuss about the company background of Duckin Donuts. This is an American global donut company and the coffee house chain. There are many subsidiaries uh, like uh, Mr. Donuts, Duckin Donuts, Canada Limited, and there are greater than 12,000 restaurants in 40 countries. With the CEO is David, uh, David Hoffman and the CFO is Kate Just Pond. Uh, we'll move to the case of this um, data breach of um, Duckin Donuts. In February 12, 2019, Duckin Donuts announced that a data breach affecting DD packs, like this one, uh, rewards for members. Hackers have used login stopping attacks to gain access to customers' accounts and sell them on the dark web for the profits. Due to Alina 2020, so we, we will find out why they have data breach. There are two main reasons for this um, uh, question. The first one is the, the weak security of Duckin Donuts. Uh, because of the weak security, so it's very easy for hackers to hack and leak the, those information. And this company is a victim of a credential stopping attack. Hackers will win access to customer accounts. How hackers uh, like uh, how hackers do uh, did the data breach? 
Um, in 2015, the applications developers were about unauthorized access to customers' uh, accounts, and there are two there are two credential stopping attacks happened on 2018 and 2019. On the February 2019, security provider identified customer uh, uh, information which are available on the internet, and there are more than 20,000 uh, accounts stole tens of thousands of dollars from customers' DD cards. And the last one, hackers sell hacked accounts on the dark web. But uh, what what did they do for the response? They did nothing. First one, they failed to investigate. They didn't notify customers. Uh, they didn't reset affected users' password. Uh, didn't freeze the funds. And the last one is didn't put additional security. So, and the last part is the evaluate of taking the next data breach. Uh, so we will come up to the evaluation of uh, Dunkin' Donut response to their data breach scandal. Uh, as you can see, there are so many negative uh, comments and negative news uh, about this case. Uh, it's very to, it's easy to understand because uh, like our previous past, uh, they did nothing uh, to protect customer information. And the one comment about it is that the Dunkin' Donut response were irresponsible because like the customer uh, bring their profit but they did nothing to protect them. And because of that, the state of New York started a lawsuit against Dunkin' Donut. As a re result, they have to pay up to $650,000 in penalties. The company reputation was negatively affected. Like as you can see, the press uh, they put a lot of pressure on the company uh, with uh, negative news, negative blogs. The customer reaction also the same uh, on Twitter. They post so many things. Uh, they post so many things like uh, negative comments, and they even threat that they will to switch to Starbucks uh, to buy protect, uh, to buy products from them. So what Turkey Nano should have done in uh, this case to minimize the consequences for customer as well as their publicity. The first of all, they need to inform customer of the problems because the customers need to be respected, right? So they need to know about the data breach first. Then they have to immediately reset the password of user or customer account uh, because uh, like the hackers know can hack the old passwords, so you need to change it immediately. And after evidence is identified, the company must immediately take action to address the threat on the surface to know where did the data breach start from. So, uh, with the uh, with the Dunkin' Donut breach like that, and for additional information, uh, the company also suffering another attack in November. Uh, 2018 and so uh, and after a few months they also uh, affect uh, another data breach uh, in February 19 like in this uh, like in this case we are presenting so uh, our group have recommendations for the internet to prevent future accident the first of all they need to upgrade security protocol for example they need to introduce the system that Spot a uh, huge byte uh, field logins, like for example, like the, if they are uh, you know, five uh, five times a uh, failed uh, login example, uh, for example, they need to uh, verify that any human not robot. The second, they need to use multi-factor authentication, uh, like uh, when the customer log into the Dunkin' Donuts account, they need to receive a login code through their email or their SMS. And the last one, they need to follow data breach notification procedures. Uh, for example, when they know about the data breach, they need to spot uh, where the problem comes from and they need to uh, contact the relevant agencies uh, to together they solve the problems and minimize the consequences. So that's all for our presentation and here's our resources. And we come to 
uh, for past uh, data securities, data breach in general, and we also analyze the Dunkin' Donut cases with our evaluation. Thank you for listening, and that's all for our presentation.